And the Grammy goes to Lainey Wilson. Lainey Wilson. <laughs> Lainey Wilson. Lainey Wilson now has a Grammy, a CMA Entertainer of the Year, and a People's Choice Awards in her trophy case. But did you know that Lainey Wilson auditioned for American Idol seven times, and she couldn't get past the preliminary audition rounds even once? American Idol judge Luke Bryan was shocked himself when he found out and opened up on this in an interview. But before hearing his thoughts, why exactly is Lainey's story possibly one of the biggest underdog stories in recent times in country music? I mean, I've been in this town for 12 and a half years, and uh, it finally feels like country music is, is starting to love me back. Nashville is called 10-year town for a reason. And Lainey is not the first singer to make it big after being rejected by a reality TV show. Kane Brown, Hillary Scott, Mickey Guyton are, are all American Idol audition rejects. Luke Combs was told he is too boring to be on television during his voice audition. Just that Lainey possibly faced more rejections than anyone else, and very few of her contemporaries have scaled the same heights. And not only was her singing question, she was even accused of faking her southern twang early on. I felt like a complete outsider. At that point, I was way too country for country. After her performance at the American Idol finale alongside Jelly Roll, Lainey Wilson reflected on this full circle experience as she said, I finally made it on American Idol. I tried out seven times and I took the long way around, but finally made it on American Idol and I never made it through, never made it past the first round. She also added that she faced similar rejections at The Voice. But stopping was not an option for her because she never had a plan B. She was living in a camper in Nashville, facing cold winters, sleeping in three jackets and three pairs of socks to stay warm. If things didn't work out, the only option she may have been left with was to go back home to farming. And I'm a fifth generation farmer's daughter and I would consider myself a farmer too. Weeks after Wilson's appearance on Country Countdown USA, Luke Bryan sat down for a conversation with host Lon Helton and was shocked to learn that Wilson was rejected by American Idol several times. I didn't know that yet, that was the first time I heard that. But I'll go see my producers today and find out what happened. I'm glad she didn't take the Idol letdown to heart. Bryan also admitted that Wilson's rejection proved the reality shows don't always get it right. Lainey had to fight her way through, but she has proved all doubters wrong. Lainey's story has to be the biggest underdog story for this generation of country artists. I guess someone might say Jelly Roll had to fight bigger battles. Purely at a personal level, yes, perhaps that is the case. He worked really hard to fight his demons. But his music also found success on YouTube early on, and he found what any artist looks for, an audience and acceptance, no matter how big or small. I truly appreciate Jelly Roll's work in music and beyond, and in no way intend to belittle what he is doing. Just that Lainey was told over and over again that she is not good enough. Hers is a story of resolve and a never-say-die spirit like none other. And maybe I just relate to it at a personal level, Drop in a comment if you agree, uh, or even if you disagree, and it doesn't matter who the bigger underdog is, with these two on top, music is the winner. Please do like, share, and subscribe before you go.